Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have probably the worst aspect we've seen so far from this really big Insomniac leak. Now, this one's not me necessarily going and like, I guess, talking about it, like more so like being, I guess, in part of the leak and kind of showcase some information or whatever, but more so I want to go and show you guys something that's absolutely horrible when it comes to this, which also might mean there's going to be some really, really, really big major delays. Some of the source code itself may have also been out there and leaked, and this also may be delaying the Wolverine game for multiple years now with how bad all this information has been that is now being shown. So I'm going to talk about this, talk about the drama, talk about how horrible this is, because of all things, like I've had a chance to discuss some of the leaks on my channel so far. I'm not opposed to it once kind of big media outlets and other various sources have already shown it, because at that point, it's already out there it's already being shown whatever i just want to be the first one to go break into news too as well because just out of respect to the devs but as well just because the situation has been getting worse and worse and worse there is 1.7 terabytes of data that's actually been locked and there is still stuff that's being released even as of right this second so things are looking bad and what this basically means over here is that the wolverine game is apparently now playable and on top of this the wolverine game on the playstation 5 has also been leaked and everything has been going horribly so make you guys are subscribed if you guys want to stay up to date with this situation because we do have our $500 PS5 Slim or just general cash giveaway and the Twitter and Twitch down below if you just want to enter in for those bonus entries and also just if you want to follow now this is gonna be a harder one I think to go and cover so it's almost kind of weird to even have this monetized in my opinion but this is news is news whatever right now there is something that came out really 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 bad and I'm not trying to like say this is all like as like, oh, drama, oh, this is the craziest thing ever. No, this is generally really bad, both for Insomniac and PlayStation. So as of right this second, and I'm not, I'm gonna only kind of give you guys maybe a really quick screen grab because I don't want this like to be per se leaked, I guess, uh, on YouTube. So if I'm just kind of highlighting this and showcasing it up, more so to kind of just push the information that's out there. As of right this second, you actually can go and play the brand new Wolverine game. Now, uh, there's a video out for this one, so, and, like, it's actually, like, kind of showing the input files as well. So, essentially, let's go and save for that. Uh, like, you go and press, like, up, down, left, right. So, basically, that would have a chance for it to get, like, coded into the code itself. And that, in theory, coding-wise means your character, you press W, your character moves forward. You have a like, random controller as well, and you move the joystick up. That input means that the character is moving forward. I'm sure you guys understand what it means. So, basically, all, all the actual inputs themselves for PC are apparently, as of this second, working. As in, the game is playable. As in, the source code itself for the game has now been released out to the public. Now, I'm going to try to explain this on the most bare-bones way that I possibly can, is that this game is donezo. This game, as of right this second, is going to have to be reworked. This game is going to have to be changed. There is actually bad implications for the overall gaming universe. So think like... Not that I don't think Xbox is really going to utilize this because it's just a really, really bad take. But when it comes to, like, say, a company like an Xbox or even third-party places, things like an Ubisoft, EA, Rockstar, etc. Now, I'm not going to say that they're going to use it, but with this, they can actually now go and scour through the code. And if there's any specific thing that PlayStation or Insomniac has done that is unique, they can go and copy it. They can see it. They can utilize it or whatever. Part two of this is that because this game was meant to be coming out in the future, some of this also could be brand new proprietary, like, proprietary, property, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, <laughs> when it comes to like, their very own specialized tech, when it comes to the game itself. So basically, let's go and say for GTA 6. If you guys remember, there was a huge, huge leak that came out in 2022 of essentially the source code of the game itself coming out, and a lot of folks were expecting bigger and major delays and also issues with the game. Thankfully, that code was also, like, way, way, way like in the earlier build side which is nice still bad it got leaked but it's nice enough that like number one gta scope is so big it's really hard to recreate and number two the fact of like it was a bit of an older build so it's not as up to date so things could have changed especially like over a one year period now this one's a bit more different because apparently a lot of these leaks are coming out from november 9th so this is all more even brand new information as well most games are meant to be playstation 5 versions first and foremost so don't forget, like, look at Spider-Man, look at God of War, look at, like, Horizon. They usually come out on PlayStation 5 first, PC, like, maybe a year or two later, if we're lucky. And right now, this is, like, playable. And this is why it's bad. There's, like, the two aspects of it. People can quite literally, this second, play Wolverine. 
on PC as well, their files are there, the game exists. Now, it's obviously not the fully fleshed out game, obviously there's a lot of things missing, obviously I don't even condone this, because if you're downloading the game, it's most likely illegal that you have these leaked and stolen files in the first place. But the part two of this is the fact that, like, the game is out there. The game is out there in the wild. There is also even other various things, such as the Wolverine uh, gameplay. People have been looking through this, uh, where basically there has been a Wolverine gameplay for over 27 minutes. So, because this game was meant to come out in 2026. So don't forget, like, that's still, like, a while away, but we're almost into 2024. And obviously the game has been in development for quite some time. So there is going to be parts of the game that are done. There's going to be cutscenes that are done. There's going to be dialogue that's done. There's going to be actual gameplay and story done as well. And on top of this, like, it's out there. Now, even one of the comments you were saying, surprised there wasn't any Venom gameplay leaked as well. And I'm also going to surprise about that too on top of that. Because, well, yeah, like, I know that game's meant to be coming out for 2025 as a parent for the leaks themselves. But like I said, this is a huge and horrible deal. But even the same person had a chance to go and tweet this out too as well. I'm going to go chime in some of these comments saying, people are actually playing the game. This is damaging. And this, they're also maybe saying this game actually might have to get canceled or even have to restart the game on the tweet we even showed. Now, I don't think they're going to necessarily want to cancel it. They have a contract, you know, with Marvel itself, like these really big superhero suppliers, number one. And number two, all this is kind of rough. Now, so I don't think you're going to be delaying the game. Uh, I think delaying actually is probably going to happen no matter what, based on these leaks, because they have to do the damage controls, see what's leaked, make sure there's no high hacking, and it's only be even have to change up some of the source codes. For canceling the game, though, I don't think it's going to get canceled, uh, mainly because, like I said, contract rights, it's a huge game, and it's already been in development for many years, even based on the trailer from a few years ago, and the fact that the game is, like, playable, this is a very, very late-stage game so far. Not done, not 100%, probably not even 80%, in all honesty, but it has been done. So I had a chance to say I talked to an insider I know with connections to Insomniac, it's seems that this leak has a 95.5% chance. Yeah, what random number is? I'm going to call them out a little bit on this one. That's really just random stuff. Delaying the game to 2028 to rewrite and redo major portions of the game's story and mission design. It's over for Sony and Insomniac. Now, I don't think so. Now, I'll use this as a reference for all this type of stuff, because a lot of people over here, too, as well, are saying, like, yeah, sure, bud, sure, it's going to be over and they go bankrupt, uh, source, trust me, bro, yeah, I, I'm, I'm the same boat. But it is a big thing to note that this will probably delay the game. Like, I'm not going to say, like, I don't, I don't know why they got a 95.5% number, that's just stupid, that's just an arbitrary number, but I will go and say no matter what, a lot of Insomniac games may be, like, re changed around, they will most likely be delayed, especially for a game like Wolverine that has had their game shown and also has had this PC gameplay playable. There is things they have to change, like, without a doubt. And even, I'm sure, GTA itself probably maybe didn't necessarily have, like, a big major delay, but there probably was at least a little bit of a delay also attributed towards those big leaks to have a chance to double-check. Like, you have to make sure that the game is not hackable. You have to make sure that, like, if you have to change specific source code that got leaked, you can. And at the same exact time, Insomniac as a company as a whole... I'm sure their executives right now are not really focused too much on making games. I'm sure the random people that are like 3D modeling or doing voice acting are fine. They're unaffected. But all these big, big higher ups that may have to be making these decisions are definitely not happy. So like I said, right now, people can quite literally play the Wolverine game. You can see the PlayStation 5 gameplay. You can quite literally play it on PC as well. It is out there. It is done. It is, well, working. Now, what can, like, this is bad. Like, this is probably one of the world's worst aspects of a game can come out so far. Look at how horrible it was for whenever GTA came out. It was really bad. Generally bad. Like I said, that was an older build. This is looks, looks like a lot more newer. And it was what we didn't even know the release date in the first place. It also kind of does go and take away the wonderment and the bewilderment of the speculation and wondering what's going to be coming out in the future. Like, we do know Ratchet and Clank might come out. We now know Wolverine, X-Men games, Spider-Man 3, Venom game, etc. But also, that kind of takes away the magic from some things like State of Plays and other various, like, PlayStation showcases. to go and have a chance to highlight these games and play them in the first place. But this is horrible. Like, Insomniac people, I think, have also been very, very silent. We haven't really seen too many Insomniac employees go and talk and mention things so far. This game itself, like I said, people are like, this is just bad. Like, if I even look at the main tweet over here from the actual post itself, too, as well, they're saying, yeah, this is the full game. Uh, give us the links. Everyone wants to have the links, too, as well. And like I said, this is, like, I'd probably illegal to have. So just give yourself a big warning out there when it comes to that. But, yeah. This is rough. I feel bad for the developers because these people didn't have a chance to go have their game, like, shine. I feel bad for just everyone. Like, Insomniac itself as a company, all these leaks have been a lot just worse. Like, these are just bad. Like, even for the fact that your game right now is being leaked and playable, that's horrible. That is bad. I feel bad. I... I feel bad. Like, that's the only word I can kind of go and say it's horrible. So, if you guys... 
do want to look in the Wolverine stuff, you guys can. Just make sure you guys are spoil exploring alerts yourself. Probably don't download this game. It's most likely illegal to even have that in the first place. Do not do that. Uh, it's bad. This is like illegal leaks. This is like ransomware. This is horrible. Don't do it, even if it's tempting. I don't want you guys to end up in jail. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. We have the $500 giveaway too as well. So follow those down below for those bonus entries. And I appreciate you all so much for watching here in the first place. And my heart still goes out to Insomniac itself.